How's it going? How's it going? We've got a pretty cool unboxing today. Um, I've seen these online uh, for a while now. Been wanting one. Um, they're a little expensive, but uh, I sold like four watches to get it. Another watch. Um, let's do a knife check. What we got today? This little Infinity OTF pocket knife. I've had this thing for years. I want to say like five to seven years or something. And I've literally never taken it apart. I've literally never oiled it. But uh, let's see what we got. Oh, watch check what we got here. Hamilton, Flint Ridge. With the little diamond at the bottom. And I have it on a Forstner uh, strap. But whatever. Oris, uh, they make the Equus watch. It's a very popular diving watch. I don't dive, but uh, I like the watch. Um, they come in many, many colors. Um, let's see what we got here. Oh, well, I got a customer. All right, I'm back. Let's see what we got. So uh, I did get it from Joma Shop, so... We got some Joma Shop uh, stickers. It's the first time they've ever sent me stickers. I've ordered from them many a times. But uh, yeah, so um, they have uh, the Equus, Aquas watch. Um, Aquas, not Equus. I think of, of the Hyundai. Hyundai. Uh, the Aquas uh, date, uh, it's an automatic. They make it in two sizes uh 36 and a half and a 40 and a half i got the 36 and a half um so they make a a dish special edition or whatever you want to call it i don't know uh where the dial is made from plastic it's called an upcycle um they're amazing uh dials uh from what i've seen now i got this from joma shop I got it for fourteen hundred as opposed to the twenty four, twenty five hundred that it typically goes for online and in boutiques. Um, with that being said, um, no two dials on the Equus upcycles are gonna be alike. How apparently, from what I'm, my understanding is, uh, they, they collect plastic bottles from uh, uh, the ocean, they shred them up and. They melt them and they make them into dials. So, you know, if you have different colors from different plastics and it's all melted, like obviously it's not gonna, um, you're not gonna get the same dial twice because it's just shredded plastic. So, this dial will not look like any of the other dials. All the dials, like I said, will be different. Now, I've seen different variations. Pull this out. This paper's kind of noisy. Yeah, so I'm saying I've seen different variations of it. Of the dial. I've seen ones with a little bit more blue. I've seen ones with a little bit more uh, red. I've seen ones with a lot of white. I've seen ones with a lot of teal. Um, I even seen a couple of them that had like a yellowy gold to it, which uh, I, I only saw a handful. I didn't even know that that was one of the colors. I haven't seen anything with like green in it. You would assume that they'd be like Sprite bottles everywhere, right? But uh, let's crack them open. Equus Upcycle. Uh, it says here $2,300. So that's like the actual price of it retail. Now I sold, uh, like I said, a few watches. I had that little, the, there's a Glock, the green version uh, out of 3,500. Um, okay watch. Um, I'm just not a big uh, fan of uh, the solar power in there. Uh, I wore it a handful of times, like maybe twice. Uh, what ends up happening is when you leave the watch. Uh, so I, I, it was like a year from the last time when I wore it. So when I pulled it out to wear it and I set the clock on it, um, I guess because it had like no battery at all, because it had no sun uh, touching it or hitting it, um, it took like four hours almost of direct sunlight just for the uh, gears and everything to start working on the chronograph part. So you could tap the, the side chronograph button and the 
the arm, the, none of the hands would move, only the second hands, and it was actually skipping. So it'd do like two seconds, and it, it'd be two seconds worth, and then it'd move like two, it was, it was weird. So, but it eventually got the power working up. I, I set it by the uh, ledge by my, in my window, and it started working, but uh, I'm just not a big fan of it. I ended up selling that, a couple of the watches. Um, uh, Versace watch, uh, and uh, I had a moon swatch, uh, Mars, Mission to Mars. I kept my Mission to the Moon, which I probably didn't do a video of it, but I should, probably should do a video on it. It is uh, one of my more favorite of the watches that I bought last year. So uh, we're just going to open the bottom first, see what we got here. We got an Oars book, Holstein, 1904. That's nice. What is this? I don't know what that side thing yells. I was trying to pull that down, but apparently nothing comes out. I'm not trying to rip it. Product manual. But uh, yeah, so like I said, all of the dials are completely different. Now I've heard that there are a lot that uh, because of the white that you'll uh, occasionally get in it, that uh, it'll block out the word Oris or it'll block out the uh, what is it 300 meters or 30 meters or whatever that's written on the bottom the the water resistance depth resistance uh it'll block it so i'm not entirely sure what mine's gonna look like slides out let's get rid of all this tissue oh this slides up oh. all right so yeah like i said this is going to be interesting to know what uh, dial I got. Like I said, all of them are different. Um, kind of hope it has a little bit of teal in it. But I won't know. Oh, yeah. That is a beautiful dial. I like these... Uh, things that they come with that they sit on got your um is this a choma shop or is this actually auras this item cannot be returned if the tag is removed cool i have no plans on returning it wow so i assumed this is why you should never assume anything um, I assumed that because I was getting it from Joma Shop, that the dial that I would get would be one of the ones, uh, 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 like a undesirable one. You know what I mean? Because it's kind of like, I don't want to call it like a secondhand shop because it's not, but it's more of like a, um, it's like the TJ Maxx. You know what I mean? Like, obviously they have designer stuff, they have nice stuff, but it's like discounted, so it's like. You would assume that it would be one of the th this watch would be one of the ones that was uh, um, not desirable. So maybe the the dial was a uh, uh, um, not a nice color or the wording, like I said, uh, Oris or the thirty bars, three hundred meters would be un uh, unlegible. But nah, I mean, I got a really amazing dial. It's hard to get an image of. Cause it's reflecting let me try something else let's see look at that that is beautiful i love that sky bluish teal i mean there's green in there sky bluish there's blue darker blue in there that's like a maroonish red in there there's a little bit of a yellowish green right there a little bit of purple even. Hey, how's it going? Hey, good, how are you? I'll be right back, got some more customers. Yeah, that dial is definitely beautiful. I'm very happy with this. I wanted a nice tealish blue, and I was hoping to get some more uh, colors in the background. I was hoping Aquas and Oris and 30 bar and 300 millimeter and Swiss made would all be legible, and they are. So that's awesome. Uh, also, let's test the dial, uh, the bezel. Ooh. 
oh, it only goes this one way. But it clicks good, nice clicks. Let's get it back to. Nice. Eh, I guess let's, while we're at it, let's go ahead and test the, uh, since the light's been on, hitting it for a minute. Let's see how the glow works on her. Let's go to my office, my back room, shut the light off. Ooh, wow. I haven't set the, the watch on there yet, but that is nice. Nice glow, very nice glow. Now, uh, obviously, uh, the phone enhanced the glow more. It wasn't that blue when I looked at it. Uh, not through the screen, but it definitely, definitely was a noticeable glow. But yeah, this is a sweet, sweet Aura style. This is definitely one of the uh, cooler ones I've seen. I, I saw a few of them that were very dark blue and red, and I was very scared that I would get one that I wasn't gonna like. Because, uh, you know, you're buying, you know, I mean, I got, I didn't pay full price technically because I got it off of, uh, what's it called? Uh, Joma Shop. So I got it a good thousand dollars off. But um, still buying a watch that expensive and getting a dial that you're not going to like very much is pretty scary. All right. And that's set uh, time. It's 1225. Twelve, twenty-five, and I like how uh, you gotta push it in to get your 